Hi, welcome to Main Street Macro. I'm Neela Richardson. This week, I'm going to answer a question from a 10-year-old viewer named Caleb. Caleb asked, Miss Neela, why can't we just print more money to fix the economy? Well, Caleb, that is a very thoughtful and timely question for Main Street right now. And there are three things to keep in mind when it comes to printing money and fixing the economy. One is why it matters. Already, the government has allocated about $5.3 trillion in relief to the economy because of the pandemic. Now, that spending was needed because the economy had gone into the deepest downturn since the Great Depression, and it was needed to help the economy weather the storm. But what it also meant is that federal debt really got high. And so federal debt as a share of the economy is the highest it's been since World War II, and it's likely to go higher. Over the next 30 years, the government estimates that the share of the federal debt re relative to the economy could double. And that is likely to mean that we all have to pay higher taxes on Main Street to support all this debt and spending. Now, the second thing you should know, Caleb, is that uh, how it works. How does government printing work? And the truth is there's not really a printing press. It's really just a few strokes on a computer keyboard. But essentially what would happen is that a country could direct its treasury to issue debt in the form of bonds. And then the country's central bank would purchase these bonds. And by purchasing the, these bonds, that means that new money would circulate into the economy, make its way to Main Street firms and consumers through the banking system. Now, in the US, the central bank is the Federal Reserve. And the Federal Reserve, in theory, could keep purchasing bonds um, and rolling over debt indefinitely so that the government never had to pay it back. In practice, the Federal Reserve is purchasing bonds to incur spending and investment on Main Street. Uh, they actually purchase about $80 billion in treasuries and $40 billion in mortgage-backed government securities to help stimulate the economy. Now, the third thing you need to keep in mind, Caleb, is what could go wrong. And in a word, what can go wrong is inflation. As my son, Jaden, who's 13-year-old, explains, he says, the more money we make, the less valuable that money becomes. And just because the money is less valuable, doesn't mean we get paid more. So that could mean that all the things that we buy become more expensive. And we already saw last week that inflation surged upward because of limitations and supply shortages. So inflation is a real factor now. As long as inflation is slow, government can issue a lot of debt. But when inflation and the cost of that debt start to go up and up and up, then that debt becomes really expensive and it could actually hurt growth instead of help growth. So to answer your question in a nutshell, Caleb, the government is printing money, but there are limits, and that limit is inflation that could spiral out of control. Well, thank you all for watching the Main Street Macro blog. Caleb, thank you for that very thoughtful and timely question. Any of you ever have a question you'd like me to address on the Main Street Macro blog, please check out adpri.org.